Boreal forest, sometimes called by the Russian word taiga, is the largest land biome in the world. A huge band of it stretches north of the deciduous forests and grasslands in North America, Europe, and Asia. Here, the summers are warm, but not hot. Summers are often very short as well. Some places just get a few months of frost-free weather. Winters, however, can be long and fierce. What do you see when you get to this biome? Mainly trees with needles, like pine, spruce, hemlock, and fir trees. The long, thin, waxy needles do well in the cold, so these cold-tolerant trees do not need to lose their leaves in the fall like the trees further south. By keeping their needles over the winter, these trees can photosynthesize even during colder periods. And that's important here in the far north, since the warm season is so short. The tree's triangular shape also helps these trees to tolerate lots of heavy snow on their branches. There are many animals in the boreal forest, including moose, beaver, squirrels, chipmunks, deer, and much more. One thing you find a lot of in the summer are insects. They take advantage of the warm, usually wet spring and summer to quickly hatch and grow. Sometimes the famous Canadian black flies are so ferocious in the far north that hikers wear bug jackets like this one to keep the flies away. What may happen to these forests as the climate changes? Well, these forests are huge. They're home to about a quarter of the trees in the world. Trees are made of wood, which is in part carbon. When these forests are healthy, they keep huge amounts of carbon out of the atmosphere. But when they start to die off, they put a lot of that carbon right back. So these forests can have a big effect on climate change over time. If they are healthy, they help protect from climate change. If they start to die off, they will make the climate change even more. Some scientists predict that this entire biome will have to shift north about a 100 miles by the end of this century, in order to find the right temperature to live. If the forests weaken as they do this, some carbon in the trees could re-enter the atmosphere, making climate change even worse. Other scientists think this biome will expand into the tundra. It'll make the tundra smaller, but as the trees grow, they'll help pull carbon out of the air. And that will help keep the climate from changing. The truth is, only time will tell. This is why many scientists see climate change as a risky experiment which we are running on the planet, which sustains us.